Guys, this is a quick video tutorial to show you how to add new fonts to your XBMC platform on your iPad. So you can see the fonts are pretty basic. Usually you have an option for three to four fonts by default on every skin. If we go down to settings and we go to appearances, you will see that this skin, for example, Quartz, has an option of about four different fonts. Default, strong, light, and aerial based <clears throat> pretty basic now just to show you what it is that we're trying to do we're going to change this skin to confluence movie set and as you can see the basic fonts are again default aerial based skin default no caps aerial based and if the new ones are it's a total of 15 new fonts it's stencil harrington highlight Imprint, Joker, Show Gothic, etc. And then Old Snap. Old Snap, change to Old Snap. Let's see. Old Snap. There you go. Pretty quick, easy, more fun. You see, have more fun with these fonts. Now, I'm just going to show you guys how to add these fonts to your XPNC platform. First thing we're going to do is go down to that link I've provided below. <clears throat> Once you're there, you're going to go to the download and you're going to download the zip file, which is fonts.zip. You're going to do is open an i file. Once you open the file in i file, it's going to be under your documents. It's going to be fonts.zip. Okay, let me just delete the extra ones I have here. All right, the second thing you're going to do is once you're there is select the file, press down, copy. Don't cut because you might need this for the other skin, so just know where it is. Again, it's under Documents, and there's going to be the fonts.zip folder. Then the second thing you're going to do is go to Preferences, as you can see right here. If you don't have Preferences available right here, you can go to Home, Library, and go down to Preferences, where you will find the XBMC folder. All right, here we're going to go to Add-ons. And then we're going to scroll all the way down to our skins. So let's just add some new fonts to Quartz. We're going to go inside of it. We're going to go to Fonts. Press down. Paste. We're going to paste that zip file right here. We're going to open this zip file. And what we're going to do is select everything inside of it except the text file. Okay, what we're going to do now is press down. Oh, what we're going to do now is press this little button right here on the bottom right and extract all the files. Now that we're here, what we're going to do is select all the files again. Now we're going to press down. You can copy and then paste it right out here. Now we're going to go back into the file, the fonts. I forgot to extract the text file. There's no problem. Just go back inside, extract. Okay. Now we go inside the folder, open that text file. <clears throat> what we're going to do is copy the entire file, click edit, select all copy save done now what we're going to do is exit out go down to the set go up to the 720p folder this one doesn't have a 720p so it's a 1080i folder we're going to go to fonts xml file text viewer edit and you're going to go down to the last set of tags which is the font set and fonts tag right here You're going to give it some space, and then you're going to just paste. Press down, paste. All right, then we're going to click done, save, done, and we can exit out and go into XBMC. Now we're going to go to systems, appearance, 
confluence. We're going to go down to quartz. And there you go. Oh snap, it's now available on quartz. As you can see, we can exit out. It's a little smaller. So, but you can just change the skin over to something else and see which one suits it best. That's pretty much all guys. That's how you add new fonts to your XBNC platform on your iPad. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up and share with your friends.